If you're looking for a meal full of exotic and unique flavors, you may want to consider Big Rapids. That's where you'll find Noelle's Mediterranean Eatery. But there's not just one flavor you should expect to their dishes. 9 to 10's Jenny Bushell has more details in tonight's Inside the Kitchen. I don't need a knife. No, really, you don't. Don't need, really, you don't need a knife. It's a small cafe in Big Rapids that sends your taste buds on a trip of a lifetime. Yeah, we have a good spice, but at the same time we have the... It's not hot spice. They think it's hot spice, but it's not. It's just good spice. Noelle was born and raised in Egypt, but culinary curiosity led her to Italy and France. Now she combines her travels in one spot, Noelle's Mediterranean Eatery. I can't change it for the world now. Oh. I love it. From cream-filled cupcakes to baklava, this is food like you've never tasted. And you know that it's the good stuff when the phyllo is still sticking. Mm. There's a full mm. menu to order from every day, but the crowd always gathers for the Friday special. Is it spicy? What mm. can I expect? Is it sweet and savory? It's Moroccan chicken, and it's a process that typically begins the day before. I marinated overnight with extra virgin olive oil, and my spice and my spice is the one I made is right in here. The chicken is seared in olive oil for a quick color and texture, a technique Noel picked up while traveling. When I went to visit my friend in France, with a chef there, his name is Chef Ibrahim, and he is from Morocco. Okay. And believe it or not, he used to make this dish every Friday night in a restaurant. Honest to God. Sounds familiar. A mix of fresh vegetables are seared in the pan, then set aside for the tomato-based sauce. This is dates and apricot. Raisins and cranberries are added. One, two. The vegetables are added to the sauce and make a bed for the chicken. It's baked for two hours, then served with saffron rice and topped with almonds for crunch. I have never experienced chicken that falls apart like that. You wouldn't know. Thank you. Make me cry, stop. Make me cry. And for a sweet finish, people flock to take home Noel's bread pudding, similar to an Egyptian dessert. Usually in old days, because we've been taken by Turkish, I don't know if you know that, that was allowed only around um, the king and everybody around them, the only people can eat that. Okay. The, all of us who cannot touch it because this is us for them. This is a royalty dessert. A royalty dessert only. Raisin bread is cubed and soaked in a bath of sugar, milk, eggs, vanilla, and heavy cream. The things I would do to be a bread square right now. <laughs> It's sprinkled with a nut crumble topping, then baked and ladled with rum butter sauce. Hot and gooey and just sits down your tummy like a pillow of love. From bakery to stovetop, Noel's Mediterranean Eatery is the stop for exotic flavors with homemade comfort. When she opened up, it was great. It was like something different. Mm -hmm. And so and she always has, she always surprises us with something new. So and I love it. Reporting inside the kitchen, I'm Jenny Bouchelle, 9 and 10 News.